Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel The War of the Worlds by H. G. Wells. For regular updates I request you to subscribe our channel, also you can join our community by becoming a member of our channel, you get access to a whole range of exclusive perks that will take your experience to the next level, so, what are you waiting for, joining our channel membership is easy, just click the join button below to unlock all these amazing perks and support our channel directly. Your membership helps us create more content and improve our videos for everyone. The characters in the novel are The themes of the novel are The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells is a classic science fiction novel that tells the story of Martians invading Earth. The book follows the experiences of an unnamed narrator as he witnesses the devastation caused by the Martians' advanced technology. The Martians, equipped with powerful tripods and deadly heat rays, wreak havoc across England, causing chaos and destruction wherever they go. Through the narrator's eyes, readers see the collapse of human civilization and the struggle for survival against an overwhelmingly superior enemy. Despite humanity's efforts to fight back, including military resistance and desperate attempts at diplomacy, the Martians prove to be unstoppable. However, the Martians are ultimately defeated not by human strength, but by their vulnerability to Earth's bacteria, which they have no immunity against. This unexpected twist highlights the theme of the fragility of civilization and the unpredictable nature of warfare. In the sleepy English countryside, the narrator, an unnamed man, introduces himself as a philosopher living in Woking, Surrey. He observes strange happenings, such as a series of mysterious flashes of light on Mars. Initially dismissed as mere meteorological phenomena, these events soon become a topic of worldwide interest. As time passes, the intensity and frequency of these flashes increase, sparking fear and speculation among astronomers and the public alike. One night, the narrator witnesses a falling star land on Horsell Common, a nearby area. He decides to investigate, accompanied by his curious neighbors. To their astonishment, they find a large, metallic cylinder embedded in the ground. As they approach, the cylinder unscrews, revealing a strange, otherworldly creature inside. The being is described as a Martian, with a large, bulbous head, glowing eyes, and a tentacled mouth. Panic ensues as the crowd realizes the enormity of the situation. The Martians emerge from their cylinder, equipped with advanced technology far beyond human comprehension. They begin constructing towering machines known as tripods, which swiftly obliterate anything in their path with lethal heat rays. The narrator and his companions flee in terror as the Martian invasion begins in earnest. Panic spreads throughout England as reports of similar cylinders landing across the country surface. The military mobilizes, but their conventional weapons prove ineffective against the Martian war machines. The narrator returns to London to find the city in chaos. Refugees flood the streets, seeking safety from the advancing Martian tripods. As the situation deteriorates, the government issues evacuation orders, urging citizens to flee to the countryside. The narrator's brother joins him, and together they witness the devastation wrought by the Martian invaders. Amidst the chaos, they encounter a curate who has lost his mind to fear and despair. The narrator and his brother witness firsthand the destructive power of the Martian heat rays as they incinerate buildings and people alike. They narrowly escape death several times, narrowly avoiding being captured by the merciless tripods. Desperation grips the nation as the full extent of the Martian threat becomes apparent. The military launches feudal counterattacks against the invaders, only to be swiftly defeated by the alien technology. As the Martian tripods continue their relentless advance, the narrator and his companions join the stream of refugees fleeing the carnage. They witness the destruction of towns and cities, including the iconic landmarks of London. Amidst the chaos, the narrator reflects on the fragility of human civilization in the face of such overwhelming force. The survivors cling to hope praying for a miracle that will deliver them from the clutches of the Martian invaders. The narrator and his brother encounter a man named the Artilleryman on Putney Hill, who shares his grandiose plans to organize a resistance movement against the Martians. However, the narrator soon realizes that the Artilleryman's dreams are little more than delusions of grandeur. Undeterred, they press on, determined to find a way to survive in this new, hostile world. 
They continue their journey, encountering both kindness and cruelty along the way. The narrator and his brother reach the outskirts of London, only to find the city deserted and in ruins. The once bustling streets are now silent, littered with the debris of civilization. They explore the desolate landscape, searching for signs of life amidst the devastation. Amidst the ruins, they encounter a lone Martian tripod, its occupants seemingly unaware of their presence. With trepidation, they continue their journey, haunted by the specter of death that surrounds them. In the aftermath of the Martian invasion, the narrator reflects on the lessons learned from the catastrophic events that have unfolded. He marvels at the resilience of the human spirit, which has endured despite the overwhelming odds stacked against it. As he looks towards the future, he vows to rebuild and reclaim what has been lost, knowing that humanity's survival depends on its ability to adapt and persevere in the face of adversity. And thus, the story of the War of the Worlds comes to a close, a testament to the enduring power of hope and determination in the face of unimaginable tragedy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.